हेलो एवरीवन आई एम रोहिणी ठोमरे लेक्चरर कंप्यूटर टेक्नोलॉजी डिपार्टमेंट के के वाक पॉलिटेक्निक नासिक इन दिस वीडियो यू विल लर्न व्हाट इज कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क डिफरेंट कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क एंड टाइप्स ऑफ नेटवर्क लेट अस बिगिन विद द डेफिनेशन ऑफ कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क अ कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क इज अ ग्रुप ऑफ डिवाइसेस कनेक्टेड विथ ईच अदर थ्रू अ ट्रांसमिशन मीडियम सच एज वायर्स केबल्स एक्सेट्रा These devices can be computers, printers, scanners, fax machines. The purpose of having computer network is to send and receive data stored in the other devices over the network. These devices are often referred as nodes. A computer network is built up from several components. These components together make it possible to transfer data from one device to another and makes smooth communication between two different devices. Now, the diagram shows the different components of computer network like hub, switches, modem, router, cables and connectors, network interface card. Let us discuss each component one by one. The short form of network interface card is NIC. it is also called as ethernet card and network adapter the network card allows your computer to communicate over a network and access the internet you can connect with an ethernet cable or through a wireless connection which is often called as wifi a nic is a computer expansion card for connecting to a network for example home network or internet using an ethernet cable with an rj45 connector the next component is hub a hub is basically a multi port repeater a hub connects multiple wires coming from different branches for example the connector in star topology which connects different station hub cannot filter data so do so data packets are sent to all connected devices in other word collision domains of all host connected through hub remains one also they do not have the intelligence to find out best path for data packets which leads to inefficiency and wastage there are three different types of hub active hub passive hub and intelligent hub the next component is switch A switch is a multipod bridge with a buffer and a design that can boost its efficiency and performance. A switch is a data link layer device. The switch can perform error checking before forwarding data that makes it very efficient as it does not forward packets that have errors and forward good packets selectively selectively to correct port only. in other word switch divides collision domain of host but broadcast domain remains same the next component is router a router is a device like a switch that routes data packet based on their ip addresses router is mainly a network layer device routers normally connect lan and wan together and have a dynamically updating routing tables based on which they make decisions on routing the data packets router divides broadcast domain of host connected through it modem modem which is also called as modulator or demodulator are used to transmit digital signals over analog telephone lines thus digital signals are converted by the modem into analog signals of different frequencies and transmitted to a modem at the receiving location the receiving modem performs the reverse transformation and provides a digital output to a device connected to a modem usually a computer the digital data is usually transferred to or from the modem over a serial line through an industry standard interface RS232 Many telephone companies offer DSL services and many cable operators use modems as a end terminals for identification and recognition of home and personal users. Modem works on both physical as well as data link layers. Now, if we are considering types of network, 
A computer network is a group of computers connected with each other through a transmission media such as cable wires. Now let us discuss the type of computer network. There are mainly three types of computer network. Local area network which is also termed as a LAN, metropolitan area network which is also termed as a MAN and wide area network. Let us begin with the local area network. Local area network or LAN is a group of computers connected with each other in a, in a small places such as school, hospitals, apartments, etc. LAN is a secure because there is no outside connection with the local area network. Thus, the data which is shared is safe on local area network and can't be accessed outside. Due to their small size, LAN are considerably faster. Their speed can range anywhere from 10 to 100 Mbps. LANs are not limited to wired connection. There is a new evolution to the LAN that allow local area network to work on a wireless connection also. The next type of network is metropolitan area network also termed as a MAN. MAN network covers larger area by connections lands to a larger network of computers. In metropolitan area network, various local networks are connected with each other through telephone lines. The size of metropolitan area network is larger than LAN and smaller than WAN wide area network. A MAN covers the larger area of a city or town. The next type of computer network is wide area network also termed as WAN. Wide area network provides long distance transmission of data. The size of WAN is larger than LAN and MAN. A WAN can cover country, continent or even a whole world. Internet connection is an example of WAN. Other example of WAN are mobile broadband connections such as 3G or 4G. This is all about network components and types of computer network. Thanks for watching.